my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is a man I tricked into marrying me. Bam, got me. <laughs> All right, so we were scrolling through my phone, and I realized that the last time we filmed a video together was a year ago. Been a minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. So he's always in my weekend vlogs. He likes to flex his muscles and show his butt on the internet. Yeah, that's my idea. But, <laughs> but an Check actual sit down, film together, and talk about stepladder video, it's been a year. So <laughs> that's an inside joke. The and infamous stepladder. If step you didn't see that video. video, you don't know what we're talking about. Well, my family sure did. I hear that. <laughs> they, they did. They did. They bring it up all the time. Did it give, did it give us like cool points or are they like, oh... Oh, I think they gave us props. I think that they're like, yeah. They were like, can we get some specifics? I mean, like, this is my family we're talking about. <laughs> there might have been some high fives. I don't know. They were like, can you draw a diagram? Because <laughs> I need to spice it up. <laughs> okay, so the last time we did this video, we took the idea from Leanne and Grant. They did a newlywed, which we weren't wed yet. They did a newlywed game where they took questions from that game and answered them together. So about a week ago, I saw a video from Jay. He did it with his wife and I fell in love with the questions that they asked. So we're going to do it this time. And I don't know if we should play for points though. No, let's just have fun. Okay. It's kind of like how I play golf. Yeah. Just don't keep score. All right, so we brought some drinks. We're actually heading out to date night after we film this video, which is why we look cute and we kind of match. We're both wearing purple. So what we're going to do is we're going to do four rounds if we have time. The first questions Parker is going to answer, he'll, you'll answer, right? And then you'll see if your answers match mine. And then the second round, I'll answer and see if my answers match yours. So the whole point is we're supposed to get the same answers. Did you already answer your questions? No. Did you like write down? No, that's cheating. You're supposed to use your board and then we go... Psh Oh, okay. Did you cheat? Well, I did some homework and prepared. So I won already because I didn't cheat. All right, so we are going to start. These are the questions Parker has to answer about me. Our answers have to match, but we brought drinks. Should we get these started first? Yeah, we should. Oh, why did you pick this one? Uh... I don't know. Well, the, the other one had a scary name, so I didn't pick it. It was like uh, Midnight Death or something. I, oh. That was, it seemed aggressive for this early right. in the evening. So, this is a depiction of our relationship. I like kombucha, he likes liquor. So, it's all put together. This is a hard kombucha. We're experimenting. Yes, this is blood orange mint. And I have hopical citrus. I've never had kombucha before. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I'll pray for you. I'm scared. Mmm. Oh, you're going to like this one. It is so hoppy. You didn't like it. It's a lot going on in that. Try this. Mm. That's a Parker drink. This one? See. What's a Parker drink? Hops. IPA. Yeah, this one's, this one's better. Oh, this one's good. It tastes like um, yerba buena. How do you say yerba buena in English? Habanero? Mint? I think Yerba Buena is mint. Okay. All right, we're doing it. It's not bad. You ready? Mm-hmm. You're wasting time here. You're just nervous because you're going to lose. <clears throat> All right. What did Danny wear on your first date? So we write it down? How should we do it? Or what if we, instead of writing it down, because that might take a long time, we clearly thought this through, you guys. This is heavily produced. We practiced, and we're prepared. I'm going to draw what so you're wearing. So instead... Don't forget my boobs. <laughs> so instead of when it's, um, wow. They have really long legs. <laughs> and then you had like these wedge shoes, came out kind of like that. And you had a really big smile. Blonde, blonde. Your hair was long. No, it wasn't quite as long no. as it is now, but it was blonde. It was a bob and it was blonde. It was blonde. Mm -hmm. Wait, so, I'm cheating. I'm giving you the answers. Yeah, basically like that. That's, that's exactly that's exactly what I look. I'm going to put up a picture up here of what I was wearing on our first day. Because I remember texting Sam. I'm like, what do you think about this outfit? Yeah, so okay. Instead of doing boards, because this might take us a minute, we can do where if you have to answer it about me, you'll answer first, and then I'll say if you were right or not. Won't that break the game, though? Because I could just lie. No, we're not going to cheat. Okay. 
We're not cheaters. We're ethical. All right. Number two. Who is Danny's teenage crush? Oh, I've heard so much about Liam Nielsen. Nelson. Liam. Liam Neeson, and I didn't like him until I was old. So. Oh, okay. Well, as far as like a teenage crush? Mm-hmm. It says, what, who is Danny's teenage crush? So when I was a teenager, like Taryn's age, like who was I like? Mm. We've never talked about this before, <laughs> no, I think so it's a shot in the dark. I mean, I could pick some popular kid from back then. I'm um, pretty sure Wes is farting. I was, I was going to say anything. I was going to power through it, but my eyes were watering. <laughs> this is a small room, guys. You guys, you are bearing witness to our death. That's a diabetic fart right there. <laughs> Don't be rude. There's nothing particular about diabetic farts. <laughs> I'm not a diabetic hater. <laughs> yeah, you are. I've got diabetics in my family. <laughs> okay, my teenage crush, and I literally just talked about this in this video where I did this makeup. David Boreanaz, Angel, Buffy's boyfriend, the vampire. And the only reason it came up is because he started a YouTube channel and he was talking about quarantining at home with his kids, distance learning. He looks busted. <laughs> I was like, how old am I? He was busted, huh? Oh my God. He I looks... know who that is. You don't know <laughs> no who idea. Angel from Buffy is? I have no idea who you're talking about. We are 10 years apart, so <clears throat> that might be a reason. Here, I'll look it up. You keep talking. All right. Number three. Which of you has the worst handwriting? <laughs> you have to... <laughs> yeah, I do. That's what keyboards are for, right? <laughs> so you don't have to write anything down. Well, and I write like a kindergarten teacher, so there's just no comparison. No. You know? I'm no. like big, round, goofy letters. Never. Uh, I never had good handwriting. Never? Well, I don't genuine, like generally, I don't think guys have good handwriting. But when I was a kid, I was taught to, uh, we wrote in cursive. Mm -hmm. Everything was, was in cursive. Was it always bad? It was always bad. Okay. My cursive is busted. Number four, who spends more money? Number five. <laughs> well, do you, you don't want to expand on that? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's accurate. No, it's your, it's your... He's scared to spend money. Well, if you didn't spend money, we wouldn't spend any money at all. So it's a good thing you did. Yeah. It's, your, it's actually your job. He's like, oh, I really like this shirt. I am so tight. I and he's like, anything. no shirts. And yeah. I'm like, okay, so I have to go out and buy him seven shirts. Oh, if man. she buys it for me, I don't feel guilty. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the thing is I spend more because he doesn't spend any. And so I, I'm like, oh, gosh, his socks are busted. I have to go buy him socks. She's going to take him a second. He won't do it. Uh -huh. He won't do it. No. So it's good. It's healthy. Like, I compensate. You know? Yeah. It's not just for me. It, yeah, let's clarify. Yes. I'm like my dad. You know, buy a broken one and yeah. fix it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who? <laughs> Number five. Who has better in-laws? <laughs> I think we both have... <laughs> they're both good. In their own way. They're, all, they're both so different. It's hard to com yeah. compare them, really. It's hard to say who's better. It, you can't say who's better. They're so different. Mm -hmm. You good. know, his parents are so much older than my parents. My parents are like very traditional, like Catholic Mexican, super close minded parents. Your parents are from a small town. You know, it's just small town farm. They're so different that it's not even a fair comparison. They're not comparable. No, that, no. yeah, that's they're not comparable. It's not fair to compare them. Mm hmm. And that none of them like me, so that's fine, <laughs> including my parents. <laughs> Number six, what is your wedding date? 7 24, 2020. Aww. First date was 6 14, 2018. Oh, now you're just bragging. First time we. First time we what? <laughs> I don't know. Ate tacos together. I literally meant tacos. Everybody knows what you meant. No, I didn't Shame on you. Okay. <laughs> Last one. Pressure's on, Parker. You've gotten them all right. What is Danny's star sign? Uh, Sagittarius. Because she talks about poor it guy. every day. <laughs> I was going to say, poor guy doesn't get a chance to every forget. Every day. It's because I'm a vegetarian. All right, now I have to answer these about you. Oh, should I read them off? Yeah. Here we go. The top. This is round two. What is Parker's favorite color? Blue. blue or plaid. <laughs> blue and khaki. It's my, like my uniform. Yeah. I was like, Parker, you wore that same outfit yesterday. He's like, did I? 
He goes and smells his shirts. No, I wore this one. I'm like, oh, they look the, they look the same. They all look the same. But I notice. Except for this one. She said, hey, you know, boss, go outside your comfort zone. So I'm probably like the loudest. Purple. Purple, polka dotted. Bow ties. They look like baby bow ties. Coming in handy today, though. It's cute, it? yeah. Imagine. Uh, what are we most likely to fight over? Our kids. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What is Parker's ideal date night? Oh, it has to be like multiple faceted. It can't just be go have dinner at a restaurant. It has to be like, it's well, let's start. Guy. Yeah, let's start off here and have like a cheese board or an appetizer or a drink. He's like a big like, let's have a drink here and then go somewhere to eat and then go somewhere else or watch a movie or do something like before the pandemic where you could actually go somewhere without risking your life. Um, it was like multiple location date. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You gotta have an adventure. Yeah, it's an event. It's a date adventure. I think yeah. you called it that before. I called it, let's go have an adventure. So start one place and, you know, see how it goes and then go to another one. But you gotta make yourself go to the next one. I'm winning. I'm winning. Uh, who has better style? That's not fair. Because you don't even have, like, yours is just standard because of work. Right? It's like khakis and dress shirts. Amazing. And then mine is like, like if you let a toddler dress herself with a few drinks, with ADD, and also six feet tall. So like there's pom-poms involved. You just keep changing your outfit until you get tired. True. And then you stick with that one. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm like, I hate up. this. I hate this. I hate this. I'm over it. <laughs> this is it. Like I put this dress on today and I'm like, this is it. My boobs, my flanks. Yeah. My hump. How does this look? Does my butt look cute? <laughs> and he's always like, oh, you're beautiful, baby. Your figure's perfect. And I'm like, I don't like a noodle. No other answer works. <laughs> Can't say anything else with that. <laughs> you look great. Who chews the loudest? <sighs> Pass. I got, a, I got a tick in my jaw. Is that what it's called? A tick. A click. A pop. I don't know, but it's from Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. It's like I chew anything that's like... He could be eating ice cream! And it's like... Wait, I'm like... There! That's it! Is there a plastic surgeon that can help us with this? You'll save our marriage. I don't know what you can do about that. I really don't. Break your jaw! Oof. No, I think you have to eat out through a straw and you'd lose all your curves. I just grew up too on the internet. I'm sorry. Can I grip you back? <laughs> no. Oh no, everybody go insane! Double that standard! Happened. Yeah. <laughs> Give me two Number six. Okay, uh, who would rather get takeout than cook? Oh. We both like getting takeout. We do. But I like the way you cook too. So I'm kind of a win win for me. I think it depends. Well, we do. We cook when the kids are here, you know, because. We get takeout about twice a week. Yeah. When it's just the two of us. And we can afford it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take out for 12 is expensive. 12? Yeah. Six. <laughs> but uh, I was like, hmm, six kids I don't know about. Are they cute? I think me. I think for me, it's a way to treat myself or to give myself a break. So I'm just kind of like waiting on bated breath for him to say like, did you check the Uber app? And I'm like. <laughs> it's never a hard sell. <laughs> no. Never. I'm never like, I think last night I was like, I really want risotto. I really just didn't want to go out. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to get Corona. I knew today was going to be date night and today was not something we were going to be able to cancel. So I was like, okay, I'll stack the duck. I'll cook tonight. It was just the two of us and it was delicious. It was really good. Was that I it? I had that one. One more. Oh. Who is most likely to deal with a spider? I'm the same. Oh no, you're going to make me do it. You're going to make me do it. She's going to make me do it, but she's going to tell me how to take care of it. She's going to dictate how the spider is treated. You know, she's like PETA for, for anything, any pest inside the house. You know, it's got to be humanely caught and released into the wild. First of all, that is accurate. <laughs> and not the answer I was going to say. He knows me better than I know myself sometimes. All right. These are... You answer about me, or you answer for points. I think we've got them all right. You did practice. You cheater. I didn't cheat. This is, this is easy stuff. Mm -hmm. Easy relationship stuff. All right. Bring it on. What is Danny's favorite memory of us? 
I would either be our first date or our engagement. Oh, that was blindsided. Like that was I got hit by like a semi truck. Yeah, no, mm -mm. no idea. I think no. As much as the engagement blindsided me, and I wasn't expecting it at all, and it is a good memory. I think what was that? Did your phone vibrate or my phone? Was or was it my brain? Our first date. It was just such a full day. It was a full experience. It was a full conversation. It was full of ups and downs. An like, adventure. It was an adventure. The bar was closed. I, I wanted to flake out on, I wanted to escape through the bathroom window, but the bathroom didn't have a window, so I was stuck. You know? That's why I think that was. <laughs> Do your research, like, fellas. <laughs> Do your research. It was like one of those days where it was, it felt like four days in one. And it's still by far one of my best memory, if not the my favorite memory of us together. Because I mean, it was page one of the book, mm. you know? So yeah, you nailed that one. Number two, what would Danny save in a fire or what is her most prized possession? The dogs. <laughs> I knew you were going to get that incorrectly correct. I probably wouldn't make it out, <laughs> but the dogs would. Yeah. I was like, I'm like, this means stuff. Like what stuff would I save? But I, I wouldn't save anything. I would just make sure we all got out. Everything. He, he knows how I am. I'm like, just give it away. Throw it away. Just pay for it. Just replace it. Just fix it. It's just stuff. You know, that's just how I've always been. And so when I saw that question, I was like, all my Alexis can burn, you know? <laughs> I don't care. It's camera equipment. Nothing. It could all fall apart. All my clothes. I would make it for the rest of my life. As long as my dogs, my kids, and my man are okay. Maybe a snack. I might need a snack. I'm your snack. <laughs> You're so humble. Am I using that correctly? You are. Okay. You are a snack. I'm trying to be lit. You. That's not correct. No, no, it's not, not the no. appropriate use of it. Okay. No. Number three. I don't know what these kids say. <laughs> what is Danny's more cherished, more cherished, most cherished childhood memory? Oh, it would be the memories of her family. She's always talking That's about. vague. Yeah, well, you're always talking about your mom, dad, and brother. That's the only thing I really hear about from when you were little. Those are, seems to be your best memories. You're disrupting Wesley. In his sleep. Did you see a stretch? That was cute. I missed it. I don't, yeah, I don't think I'm ever very specific. I just kind of tie it into whatever no, we're talking no. about. You never talk about friends or uh, events or things you did. Uh, you just always talk about your mom, dad, and your brother. That's true. Yeah. I miss him. Moving on. All right. Um, let me drink more kombucha. <laughs> Whose fault was it? And this is a trick question. I cheated on this one and I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. Whose fault was it the last time you were late? Oh, it's never our fault. It's like probably the dog's fault or something like that. But it's never us. We're never late. No, we're never late. We're always on time. We're never late. It's always a good I was trying to think. I'm like, when were we late last? We're never late. It's important for both of us to be on time. And if we're on time, we're like, dang, like we're stressed out because it's we feel like we're late. We're the first one to the kids' party. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because <laughs> we show up on time. Show up with gifts and stuff, and like no one's there. <laughs> I I was raised that that's polite. You know, mm -hmm. I don't believe in Mexican hour. You know, if you're a part of my member of my community, you're like, what a Mexicana. Everyone shows up two hours late. That's simple and it's rude. I don't do that. I don't know if there's a thing in your family where it's like. Oh, so and so is always late. It's what we're used to, so we start dinner two hours late. Mm. Do you guys have a member of your family? You don't have to say names. Where it's like, oh, it's so and so, they're always late. You know, I never really thought about it because I was never, I was always the kid there. I never knew when people mm. used to show up. You were just like, mm -hmm. but they would kind of show up in the same order. You know? <laughs> they would be there. My the on timers and the laters. My grandparents would show there, and then, you know, my cousins, Donald Dale and Chantel mm -hmm. and Hey Linda would show up. How about Ernie? And then the rest. Oh, Ernie, really? Ernie disagrees. Ernie's like, nah, bro, tell the truth. Okay, this one's this there's this one's tricky. What is Danny's favorite movie? Oh, um, we just talked about this the other day. Love actually? Oh you <laughs> Do you have a spouse that listens to you? <laughs> like sometimes it's very inconvenient, like when you're trying to win a game. Love it's a toss-up between Love Actually and Con Air. <laughs> <laughs> Put the bunny back in the box. <laughs> that is high quality film. You don't see that anymore, okay? Plus Nicolas Cage. End of story. Okay. 
You're judging me right now. I can feel your gaze. Relax, pandas. Go rent Con Air. Uh, I think it's on Netflix. <laughs> Mullet. Um, who is the most high maintenance? Well, it's not me. <laughs> what? Come on. Come on. This Maybe. is the most low-key, undercover brother when it comes to being high maintenance. I don't know what you're talking about. Confess. No, I'm not. Conf I'm not high maintenance at all. Confess. I just need to be fed and hugs and kisses and I'm good. Maybe a compliment every once in a while. Yeah. I'll present the evidence in a further, in a further video where I can document this. Okay, oh, so, so you're going to do it in a vlog later when I'm not around and I'm not there to defend myself. Oh. Is that what's going to happen? You're always around to defend yourself. He's very high maintenance. Mm. But I think between the two, he's, like I said, undercover brother high maintenance. I'm outwardly high maintenance. <laughs> he's very specific in body wash he uses, in the brands of his shirts. The pants have to be a specific pant and cut. Otherwise, he will not wear them. His boots are f expensive. And f um, that's going to be all edited, don't worry. He must have his birthday celebrated. And no matter how many times he tells you he does not want it celebrated, it must be celebrated or he will pout. So he is definitely high maintenance, but he does a really good job at hiding it. For the record. I don't agree but with I'm you. definitely way more high maintenance. <laughs> but I don't hide it. There's just no hiding it. What pain would you take away from Danny? or heal her from if you could? That was a tough question when I heard it in the video that I got these questions from, I was like. Mm, yeah, well, there's several. <laughs> her entire childhood from zero to 21. <laughs> I would, uh, let's see, one for, I, I would take the whole explain away. I'd take that whole experience away. Make that, just fast forward from. That was to tough. Heal. That was hard on her. That was, that was really hard. It's like the physical um, trauma. Mm -hmm. trauma. I don't think I've ever been in so much physical pain and discomfort, and I'm pretty tough, you guys. But she the is. You aftermath? Are, you are tough. That was that was hard, though. And I don't, like, yeah, get, fellas, that was tough. I mean, she there was a lot of trauma done to her body uh, after doing that. And it's just it's not just the surgery, it's the recovery after. Mm -hmm. The it recovery was, was like... yeah. It was long and it was emotional, and it's like the uh, you, the pain breaks you down emotionally. Mm -hmm. If you're if you've ever been injured and you hurt for a long time, it eventually takes an emotional toll on you. Yeah. And then she had to look in the mirror and see a different person that she wasn't used to seeing, and that was also really hard. So it wasn't just pain, which there's a lot of. It was the emotional trauma of going through all that. I wish I could erase that for because that was that was tough. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think either of us expected what it was like. like. There was just no anticipating, and I've had surgeries before, and I'm like, God, this, oh, so good. Mm. But I was, would, we don't want to discourage anybody from doing it who feels like they may want that, or may be uh, good for them, because we're better for it on the other side of it, definitely. Yeah, I think the best way I could summarize the 15 years of having implants was 15 years of a general unwellness. I couldn't like identify, every day was a different symptom, but it was 15 years of general unwellness. They get taken out and I feel better. And I do stand in the mirror and he still looks at me and I'm still in the mirror and I'm like. And he's like, look, I, I can see him watching me and I'm like. <laughs> you know, but every day that I get up, that general unwellness is not there anymore. And I'm expecting it to creep up on me again. I'm like, it's probably because of my anemia. It's because I'm stressed and it never comes back. So I think healing isn't linear. One of you guys said that to me and it was so profound. Healing isn't linear and every day something different. Some days are good, some days are bad, but the general unwellness, I haven't seen it since. And it's been a year and a year and a month and two weeks, maybe. Wow, already? Yeah. Doesn't seem like that long ago. No. But you are healthier. You look better. You're like, you, just your skin tone is different. Yeah. I woke up and he was like, you're 
flowing. It's weird. And I was like, I can breathe. It was weird. I never. It was so weird. I'd, I hadn't had a full breath in like 15 years. That's crazy. That's a good answer. I would have never said that. And you look great now too. The verdict is still out, but mm. thank you. Danny answers for Parker. What family member is Parker closest to? Your brother. KK. Yeah. He is sweet. He's just one of those people you like. Like, he, you just like him instantly. He's so good and he shows up for him in every capacity, mm. whatever it is. He, he'll jump in the fight and then ask questions, you know? He's, he's awesome. He's, he's a definition of loyalty. Who is nicer? <laughs> Danny's, Danny's pretty nice to your face. <laughs> but when you leave the room... Hey, no, that makes me sound like I'm a hypocrite. If you deserve it. She'll, she'll cut you deep when you're not around. <laughs> yeah, she'll take you apart. I'm letting you answer this question again because I'm so nice. <laughs> <laughs> so my therapist said that because I have ADD, that I read too much into people's body language that I put too much value and significance into people's facial expressions, body language, breathing. Case in point, watch this. First of all, you say you never roll your eyes. Never roll your eyes. And if you watch our weekend vlogs, this fool will roll his eyes at least twice in every vlog. And he's like, I don't roll my eyes. I was like, you are an eye roll. You're like a constant eye roll. It's such a trick. So, yeah, it is. It really is an eye roll, uh, a trigger. So I, I think he's nicer. I mean, he's, I've never met anyone that doesn't like him. And I've met 90% of people that don't like me. <laughs> so I, I don't think that I'm not nice. I just think that I'm guarded and I read a lot into people's body language. So like, we'll go somewhere and I'm like, did you see what she did? And he's like, Bruh. you know, and I'm like, well, she did this, this, this. And he's like, no idea. He didn't notice. And so I'm like, am I reading too much into people's body language, which then makes me want to say something? Or was that person really not nice? But he doesn't notice anything ever. I changed my answer. I'm nicer. <laughs> That'd never be true. <laughs> never. It's never. <laughs> what are Parker's top three love languages? Oh, that's a piece of cake. Physical touch. Words of affirmation mm -hmm. and quality time. Food. Is that a love language? No. Dang. No. Yeah. But that would be everyone's love language. <laughs> Was that right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because you don't like gifts. I, got the I mean, easiest, you like gifts. I got the easiest ones. You got the free one. Complaints. You got yeah. the free one. Free ones, they're very convenient. You can do them anytime. Yeah. You don't have to prepare it. You can just do it. Mm -hmm. No effort. A lot of effort. Yeah, see? A lot of Low effort. Low maintenance. A lot of effort. Low maintenance. A lot of effort because if there's like not a hug like if there's like 17 hugs every morning and that morning there was just 16 and a half hugs he's like are we fighting do i look fat we'll just count the hugs what's going what's the one so hard he the admits hugs. it you know we got charts and bullets and boards everywhere in this house you can you can mark them off get you a clicker get amazon to amazon alexa to remind you yeah here is your upcoming reminder Hug Parker. Yeah. That's a, good, that's a good one. It's very, very important. Start your day with that. What is Parker's weirdest thing he does around the house that no one knows about? I don't know what. <clears throat> I don't do anything weird. I don't think you do anything weird either. I think what you see is what you get. I don't use any secrets, any mysteries, any anything I am, with this man. I am basic. I think that's why I fell in love with him so easy. It felt safe, no surprises. It was like, whoa, this is it. This is as good as it's gonna get. And as bad as it's gonna get. And I was like, mm, I'm gonna do this. This is the norm. Yeah, this is yeah. like unleaded, you know? It's always it's just a good old Chevy. Yeah, like Ned Flanders. Yeah. <laughs> Found a mustache, I just like it. Oh, people wanna know what's going on with your, with your beard. Uh, you want no. a disclaimer? Yeah, you I can't. Can't, disclose? can't have a beard with Corona. Can't. Mm -hmm. Now it's his job. Mm -mm. They're not, like, nope. I am not allowed. Denied. Yeah. Isn't so, that? Doesn't that suck? Well, you know, high hopes for the. You're like America's sweetheart, and you're breaking everyone's heart slowly. 
I hate shaving, so trust me, as soon as I can, it's, it's going to come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like shaving. So, yeah, but no, I can't until we uh, get through this uh, epidemic and, you know. Pandemic. Epi pan pandemic. Pandemic. Yeah. Pandemic. Until we get through that, and uh, then it'll come back. Yeah. High hopes for next it's year. It's very disappointing. You know how it affects your life personally? It, affect, it affects our life as well. I'm doing the best I can. Yeah. <laughs> You can't do anything about it, poor guy. But yeah, the beard is like, mm. it's like fried chicken when you're really hungry, you know? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, fried chicken. Unless thing. you like fried chicken, that doesn't mean anything. Mm. <laughs> the more you drink this, the better it gets. It is good. It is good. He's kind of picky. He's like a traditionalist. He likes his bourbon on the rocks, you know, uh, rum and coke, a fresca. Oh. Fashion. Paloma, an old fashioned, yeah. So kombucha for Parker is like, what's kombucha? You know, but it's pretty good. It's awesome, actually. I can kind of really like it. It's almost gone. We're going to show up today and we're like, woo, pre game with kombucha. Uber. Hard kombucha. Going to Uber it. We're almost done, Parker. I feel like we're not getting closure here. I feel like I'm waiting. I feel like you need to replace step ladder. I'm this... kicking butt. All right. <laughs> Who starts arguments? Not me. <laughs> or maybe I do, like, <laughs> not knowing it. He, he, he's like the, he lights the fuse on the bomb. Yeah. And then when it gets to me, he's like, what? <laughs> I didn't. I, li I light the fuse, but by the time the fuse gets to the bomb, I already forgot what lit it. <laughs> so that is a great, a great way of describing it. It's true. He's like, what? It's like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's going oh, I'm so, not prepared. I'm not prepared. She's prepared. <laughs> She's been thinking about it for three days. But I have no idea. None. Unprepared. <laughs> Do you guys hold stuff in your pocket for three days? No? Just me? I'm working on it. What would Parker's dream job be if he wasn't doing what he's doing? A fireman. Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Bad joke. Bad joke. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry, I learned that from my therapist. Apologize. Ooh, wow. <laughs> um, I don't think so. Any apologize. For yeah, yeah. Tell Alexa to remember this. <laughs> Document it. Anniversary. I'm glad we got this on video. An anniversary this <laughs> moment. <laughs> Just play this over and over. Um, I don't think he would do anything else. I, I think I've you're been, doing your dream job. Yeah, I am very happy with my job. I've been doing it for so long, I don't know yeah. what else I would do. Yeah, he's in yeah. law enforcement, if you're unfamiliar with these. Um, and there's so much, um, vertical movement he can do within his job and he's kind of dipped into so many mm -hmm. that it's fulfilling, right? Like it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's, uh, when you get, I guess when you get burnt out doing something, you can go do something completely different and never mm -hmm. leave the organization, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been an adventure. I've got to do and experience a lot of different things and it's been fun. Do you want to know what's not fun? Is we've been together for three years and I've never seen him in his uniform. <laughs> Tell me if that's not a crime against America. Okay, moving on. Um, last question. Last one. We're already almost done. Did we power through this? You know what it is? It's the kombucha. It's, kombucha. Yeah. it's all that mental clarity. That's right. It's that clarity kombucha gives you. I feel like a superhuman right now. Who? This is the strong one. Who has more power in the relationship? Hmm. I'll let you think you do, but it's me. No, it's not. It's just what let you think. <laughs> I don't know. Because what does power mean? I don't think we're competing for power. Or you know who has the most power? The dogs. The dogs? <laughs> You'd be surprised how much power Sophia has. Oh, yeah. Sophia, Speaking of her, where is she? Sophia tells us when we get up in the morning. <laughs> Wesley tells us when it's time to go to bed. Uh-huh. When we can go to bed. Yeah. Like, if we can, because yeah. he's had his insulin. Right. If we've had a long day, we can't be like, mm, I'm going to turn in early, because that guy back there, you see him? Mm -hmm. With that hard life? He, we can't go to bed early. Sophia, come here. We have questions. Renata? Hey, baby, come here. Come here, come here. Come here little influencer. Come here. Oh, yeah. Answer Dang. questions. Dang. Confess your crime. Who has the most power in this relationship? Boom. He calls her Meep. He's like, he looks over at me every morning 
between 6.15 and 6.30. She's like an alarm clock. She never, she's never, she never misses a morning. It's always between about 6.15 and 6.30. Mm -hmm. She'll start squeaking. Like a squeak squeaking toy. from the other room. Yeah. Yeah. Every morning, Saturday, Sunday, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how late she stayed up. <laughs> nothing. The only way you can get like a little bit of a break is if she sleeps with us. In our bed. Yeah. And yeah. Then it's, right here. Then she won't say anything. But it's amazing how she knows. Mm -hmm. It's that circadian rhythm when, of yours, when huh? When 6.15 shows up. And then she starts and the other dogs are like, does that mean I can bark? And then that's it. All hell breaks loose. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's a trick question. It's loaded. This one right here. Look, see the power of her shirt. She is uh, she's the one that has the most power in this relationship. But I love you. You're so perfect, and you're so healthy. You are so healthy. She's gonna live forever. <laughs> Six fifteen for the next ten years. Every morning. <laughs> that's true. Oh my goodness! But you're so pretty. Yeah, she is. Clean bill of health. The only thing that's wrong with her is her attitude. So it's going to be an adventure. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an adventure between her and Mern. The two healthy ones or the two that hate each other. So it's going to be a good time. I'll tell you what we're going to do for you guys. If you want to play this game with your significant other, I will type out all of these questions that we answered in the description box below so that you guys can play. It's designed so that there's four rounds and every round is worth 35 points. But at this point, I'm pretty sure we got them all right. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of cool because it's not questions like, well, I mean, that one was in here, but like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite number? Like, I think it's more important to get to know your partner based on values, what makes them tick, you know, what excites them versus what color they like to wear. That's a nice plus if you're going to get him a gift. But other than that, it's like, well, what goes it for? Like, do you know his popping jaw makes me want to stab myself with a pencil? No. I can't stop. I don't know. Yeah, it's I'm weird, doing. right? Does no. it hurt? Well, it's not comfortable. Really? Yeah, sometimes I can't open my mouth all the way. It's like I only really Have you ever told the doctor about that? Oh, then they just want to give you medicine. That's... No? Hmm. You're tough. You don't need medicine. That's right. I don't need to eat. Oh. <laughs> I don't need to chew. I was like, what? Yeah. I need to eat. How is this going to affect me? Oh, you know what, you guys? I I'm actually... The spoon. It's fine. I'm going to link a video for you guys that I played for Parker the other day. It was freaking hysterical. Do you remember? Um, I see a lot of videos. No, I promise I'll be more considerate of how loud my eyes blink. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was good. That was really good. Uh, first, I woke her up on my way to work. She heard my eyes open. Uh, that's very inconsiderate of me, and I should learn to open my eyes more quietly. Um, second, if I eat a nice restaurant without one. She's like, he's like, second, um, I promise to, uh, I'm sorry that Hobby Lobby doesn't open on Sunday. And I was <laughs> like, I feel so seen right now. Yeah, it's, it's every man's, that, that is every man's pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are good, you know? Like, we have to deal with the clothes outside of the hamper, but you guys have to deal with all of this. So, mm, and it's, it's a fair trade. Mm. Oh, hell no, don't you even go there. I think we need to wrap up this video right yeah, now. Gonna ruin day before day. your Aunt Linda <laughs> sees a murder on YouTube. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video we're actually testing out this product for you guys and let me tell you there's probably not going to be much left <laughs> you made me spit it out Parker the hopical citrus is delicious anyway we will list all these questions in the description box below along with his fabulous shirt which I can actually link for you guys because it's brand new I picked it out all by myself all by himself anything that we're wearing anything we talked about hell even Wesley's sweater in the background we're going to list and link that for you guys in the description box below if you want to see the first time we played this game together I will also link that video in the description box below but for now we gotta wrap this up because we're going on date night there better be a cheese board at this restaurant let me tell you because I'm really feeling up feeling up the cheese you picked it if it disappoints it's, it's, your, it's your fault it's on you. No Did I pick it because I have more power in this relationship? Oh, stop. <laughs> anyway, we love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.